John Devers, uh, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly there. Dutch, first thanks for your podcast. My question was about the war for the Memphis Territory in 1977. You were in Memphis when Jerry Jarrett broke away from Nick Goulas and started his own promotion. You went with Jarrett. What made you want to make the move? And was George Goulas really the worst wrestler of all time? Well, first of all, one of the reasons I wanted to make the move because I kind of hated Nick, basically, because he was a butthole. <laughs> and I hated George double than what I hated Nick because he was a d- c- complete idiot, complete idiot. And I always had a lot of respect for Jerry Jarrett. And I remember when I turned my notice in to, to Nick, and he said, hey, boy, you're going over there to that other bunch. And I went, I, no, I don't think so. I didn't tell him nothing. But then I wanted, I went to work for, for Jarrett and ended up working for him off and on for the next 10 years. See, Nick, I, I came back and worked for him in 1978, and it was on its ass. You know, Nashville was a pretty good-sized town. They had a VHF station, not a UHF, a VHF station, Channel six or channel four or something that wrestling was on. So we had the coverage and we only got it up when Randy Savage came in because we were, we, we were dying there. We were, hell, I couldn't even pay my bills off, off that. And me and Savage got together and said, Hey, let's do this deal between us. And we re- revised the uh, the territory it came up to where now we were making a little bit of money not a lot but it was a lot better than what they were doing before and then we went through that year and we had some really good houses in Nashville and Birmingham and Chattanooga and then Savage lay up to start his own company up in Nova Scotia don't ask me why Nova Scotia but they they went up there to start a company there. And that's before he came to Louisville, I mean, to Kentucky, mm-hmm. to start his other company. But but that's why I went with Jarrett, because I think the money would be there, because Memphis was a good town. Make your money out of Memphis anyway. And Lawler, Lawler went, because Lawler was, he was over in Memphis. So I knew, I knew their business would be fairly good. So that's why I went. You know, I was actually looking up George Goulas' and, footage. Wait a minute, is he the worst wrestler in the world? Double that. Mm-hmm. He was doubly worst. I mean, aside from the Idiot. fact that he looked like shit, uh, he he didn't look that he didn't look that good. Uh, he sounded like shit, and he sounded like shit. He was in the, he was the shits really. He was a moron, basically. Okay, I'm go- I'm going to pick up on that in a second, but I want to just quickly tell you is that do you know on YouTube that you can find out there is some sort of like legends reunion wrestling show where in about 2000 that George Goulas came out of retirement to participate in. Where was it? I don't know. Um, I could try and find the video, but uh, shall I find the video and then give you the information on it? Yeah. Oh, one second. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we, we can try and watch. We can try and watch about a minute of it. Let's see. But I think he's in the golden trunks. There we go. Look at those punches. So he's in the golden God. trunks. Uh, Jeff Daniels and Gypsy Joe versus Dante and George Goulas and someone else. Look at these punches. Gypsy huh. Joe. God, he is horrible. Look. Oh, my God. So, so apparently his chops- let, me, let me tell you. Let me tell you a George Goulas story. <laughs> He got caught one night for solicitation Ah. by this one cop. And in Nashville, they took him to jail and they got him out. The next night, the same cop caught him again. It was a female cop. And he went after her again. Now, is that stupid? (laughs) You you said well yeah you've given that example you said he was a moron he was an idiot but just in general having to hang around with him like why do you I never say hung that around. 
he's just an idiot. He acted like an idiot. He just, I didn't spend any more time around him than I had to because he's a goof, complete moron. 